these guys. There's, I have two styles of bench press. Uh -huh. uh, I have a little bit more, I guess from here, yeah. tucking style. Mm -hmm. This is one I use more leg drive. I tuck a little bit. But on my no leg drive style, which yeah. I'm practicing lately just to get more chest power, pure chest power, yeah. I'll have a bigger arch. But my legs, instead of bending, they're just straight, like pushing the whole time. Mm -hmm. In that case, I don't tuck much. It's more like this. Okay. But still, I never let it go like this. Mm -hmm. It's still always this or this. But my normal style is more like this. Okay. The no tucking style is more like this. Okay. In this style, I have to squeeze my shoulder blades back even more. Mm. And so for this style of bench, okay. difference is the grip. Mm -hmm. Before my grip was more a little neutral. Mm -hmm. This style, I have to do more internal rotation. Yeah. So the bar before was more here. Mm -hmm. This time it's going to be much lower, like at this angle okay. instead of this angle. But Why? Because mm -hmm. first it'll reduce my range of motion. Okay. When I'm going down, mm -hmm. I just have to flare my elbows out. Yeah. That's it. In this style, I won't be using leg drive. I'll just have constant pressure on the ground. Okay. Uh, difference here. So before, I was more here. Okay. This time, I'm gonna be more like this. Okay. The same for everything else. This time, finding legs is not as important because I'm not gonna use leg drive. Okay. So I just want to find a position that I can keep constant pressure on the ground mm -hmm. with the biggest arch. So here, I probably want to put my feet a little closer because, mm -hmm. uh, Actually, it doesn't matter, but whatever helps me make big, the biggest arch. So I'm gonna do a big hip thrust here. One, two, big hip thrust. Unwrap. And here, I keep my butt really high as I tuck my shoulders back. So over here, this bad. Okay. Wrath good. <sighs> butt down, butt barely touching. Flare. That was my other style. That's for people who don't know how to put their shoulders back. Okay. If I flared my elbows mm -hmm. with my shoulders out, mm -hmm. that's very dangerous. Okay. So much pressure on the rotator cuff. Mm -hmm. But if you know how to retract your scapula back and down, mm -hmm. the shoulder is a very safe position. And also when I flare, I'm rowing with my lats and my rhomboids and my rear delt. I'm not just letting it fall, I'm controlling it on the way down. I feel so much pressure here. So it's pretty safe. It only gets dangerous when you do this. Oh. If you flex your traps and let your elbows go up, then you could hurt your rotator cuff. Uh, I mean, I bench sometimes four times a week, including wow. incline. Mm -hmm. And I haven't had a shoulder injury in like four years. Wow. Why do you do two styles of bench? Is there any purpose of each Yeah. One? So my normal style mm -hmm. is my leg drive style. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of uh, very explosive power. Yeah. So like from here to here, it's almost like all leg drive. Okay. And then I just have to take over here to here. Okay. If it gets really heavy, mm -hmm. my, I want to use too much leg drive, mm -hmm. my butt will pop up. Okay. So I need to make this area stronger too. Oh. So my other style is I just want to work my chest. Okay. So I just want to be able to just pure power from here to here. Okay. No leg drive, mm -hmm. it's just I could do it on my own. And then when I go back to my normal style, my butt won't have to come up so much. Mm -hmm. It'll be safer. So you mean the second style lip helps the first one? Yeah, it right? does. Okay. Or uh, it's safer for competition too. Okay. So my second style, mm -hmm. my butt will never come up because mm -hmm. it never moves. Okay. All my, all my other accessories are all to build my muscle back here. Wow. All my rows, all my pull downs, I'm always thinking in my head, scapular retraction. Scapular retraction. You want to find where your bench grip is. Okay. On this bar, bench grip is like right where the bending starts. Mm -hmm. And although when you do lat pull downs and rows, it's okay to do this. Yeah. On bench, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. So you should mimic the bench. Oh. Purposely do it and okay. try to get try to get your bench grip. Okay. 
Don't just grab it. Okay. Grab it with your bench grip. Okay. Then I lay down. This one you can keep your feet up. Mm -hmm. So I keep my feet here. Mm -hmm. If you look at the, the cable, yeah. the cable should be straight down toward your chest. So mm -hmm. you and then I purposely, if you look at the back of my head, mm -hmm. I'm purposely resting on the back of my head mm -hmm. instead of keeping my back. Oh, okay. Why? Because I want to be able to practice this movement. Oh. If I'm down here, it's not easy to practice it because mm -hmm. you're running into the bench. Yeah. So purposely rest on the back of your head. Mm -hmm. You breathe at the top, grip the bar strong like mm -hmm. bench. Yep. And notice here, this is bad shoulder position, right? Yeah, Normally on bench. Gym. But you purposely want to start here because mm -hmm. you're going to work the muscles that put it into the good position. Yeah. So I take my breath. And then, mm -hmm. in the beginning when you practice, do the scapular retraction first, just by itself. Yeah. So I go back, wow. down. Wow. Back, down. Back. Okay. But look at my elbows. Yeah. When I teach this movement to yeah. people at the first time, yeah. they always do it wrong. They do this. Why not? They're, they're rotating their elbows? No, they're bending their elbows oh, to okay. get the scapular okay. traction. Mm -hmm. You have to keep your elbows straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then, then just scapular. Your exactly. Scapular retraction. But look at my elbows, perfectly locked down. Mm -hmm. This is my bench starting position. Wow. Right? Oh. Yeah. So, back. Then, yeah. After practicing that a few times, you add the roll. Mm -hmm. So back down, bench. Okay. Back down, where you would hit on the bench. Okay. Try to mimic the same as bench. Mm -hmm. Don't go here, okay. don't go here. Okay. Same place as bench. So back down, bench. You just want to do with dumbbells. Mm -hmm. Set up a... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this much incline, mm -hmm. actually maybe a little bit less. This much incline. I grab dumbbells, these are fat bells. Yeah. You can do a dumbbells, doesn't matter. Yeah. And here, no. not this. Mm -hmm. Purposely let your chest hang over. Oh. So, the sternum, yep. the center, mm -hmm. I'll put it right at the edge. And same, it's like kind of like a reverse bench. Mm -hmm. So don't do this. Yeah. Pull high like a bench. Okay. Full extension. Okay. Full extension. Full extension. So the reason why you above this bench like here is full extension because yeah. of the full extension. Full extension and also it makes the angle better. Oh. It makes it more flat. Okay. If I'm just here, mm -hmm. it makes upward angle. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if I'm here, mm -hmm. I could bend my yeah. upper body forward mm -hmm. and create more of a flat no, surface. See, yeah. Yeah. But if I just make it flat, yeah. it's gonna be hit the yeah, ground. I mean, I can't. Yeah, <laughs> the balance is yeah. So. Uh, once in a while, I'll focus on a very low weight, yeah. for maximum speed, touch and go, mm -hmm. and M rep, like okay. every set. Oh. Right. Only once in a while, don't do it every yeah. week, like maybe twice a month. So how do I overload? Yeah. Uh, I always overload by always aim for a little bit more than last time. For example, let's say I have low, medium, high, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do low, medium, high again. Low, medium, high, right? Yeah. Anytime I come back to the same type, so yeah. I'll be like low, medium, high, and then low again. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing low again, in my mind, I'll always say, I have to do one more rep, mm -hmm. total volume than last time, wow. or one more set, okay. or a rep PR at least, yeah. one of those. Okay. Not every, like every time that's my goal. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I can't do it. You can't always go up, right? Uh -huh. But in my mind, I'm always thinking at least one more rep, mm -hmm. one more set, mm -hmm. or better quality, mm -hmm. longer pause. Mm -hmm. Always one of those things I'll try to do. That's very smart way. Yeah, because then I'm always getting better. Yeah. And also it's, it's happy, you're happier. Because okay. sometimes you're like, oh, I can't increase the uh, weight. Yeah. I can't increase the weight. Fail, fail, fail mm -hmm. every time. But if you could do longer pause, mm -hmm. you're like, oh, I did longer pause, oh. better quality. You'd be like, oh, I did one more total volume, mm -hmm. even though not rep PR for mm -hmm. one set. 
I got total volume one more than last time. So you'd be like, oh, it's a volume PR. Yeah. So I always go for volume PR, rep PR, form PR, pause PR. And also because I have medium day and high day, like I, I could do different weight every time. So I have a different PR to aim for. Yeah, people who do linear, yeah, they just do same weight, same weight, same weight, yeah. fail, 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 or same, 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 same. Yeah, but for me, I could try PR for low intensity, I could yeah, try yeah. for medium intensity, high intensity, even speed day. Yeah. That's, what, that's how I overload. Oh. I always aim for just one little thing more. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. It's not like I post my body and like, maybe that's what it's like.